we were talking about the different stages of of grief or whatever they want to call it, acceptance. Uh, it, I don't know what to call it. That uh, that people go through when they find out that they have a terminal illness or that a loved one has been killed. I believe first there's anger, and this man is deeply rooted in the anger. Um, uh, then there's the denial. I don't have it. I'm I'm okay. I'm not gonna die. It's just, I can beat it, you know. Uh, then there's the bargaining. Please God, I'll promise to this, that, and the other thing, or not this, that, and the other thing, if you just spare my life. Or, and then finally, becomes the acceptance. Um, as far as I am concerned, oh, excuse me. I think I've accepted this as well as anyone can accept anything so harsh, so inhumane, and yet secret, covert, designed to make me look, and anyone they do it to, to make them look crazy, which is fine. I'll be crazy. Uh, it's the only thing I have in my mind that I can refer to uh, is genocide in other places. Here in America, we do our genocide quietly and secretly, so nobody really knows. But the only thing to compare it with is the rest of the world, where they do it overtly. And I know what pain is, I know what suffering is, and I pray for every single human being and every living sentient creature who is suffering in any way. I pray that somehow they will find relief and that people will rise to their aid. That's the only thing that, that Anyway, thanks for watching.